curcumin is the active ingredient or one of the active ingredients that's in turmeric, okay? So if you're eating turmeric, it's gonna give you a whole bunch of molecules, a little bit of curcumin, but only about 5% of curcumin is absorbed if you have it in the spice form, okay? So good for long-term use, and that's how we actually found out about curcumin's effect on the brain. We said, hey, these people in India, they eat lots of fat, they eat lots of sugar, but they have half the Alzheimer's disease. So researchers start saying, hmm, maybe there's something to some of the dietary spices they're using in their, in their cuisine. So uh, we started researching for Alzheimer's neurodegenerative diseases. So we found out that we have a lot of actually very beneficial pleiotropic multi-action effects that curcumin does. There's a couple, you know, when you look at some of the research labs around the world, they were trying to identify a one particular substance. Uh, they didn't care if it was a drug or if it was a natural substance, whatever it was, to address all the mechanisms going on in neurodegeneration. And TBI has almost like a short-term snapshot of some of the things that are happening in something like Alzheimer's. And they found that because it does so many different things, it was way more promising than any of the other single molecule um, like if I want to totally shut down beta amyloid plaques, which is what causes Alzheimer's. There's been drugs that have been studied to do that. Eli Lilly created one. And they had to stop the trial halfway because cognitive function was getting worse. So it stopped that mechanism. So again, we need multiple mechanisms of action. And here again, this is a study looking at again, could curcumin affect the energy imbalance after brain trauma? You can see some of the oxidative stress, preserving brain, neuronal homeostasis, and ultimately offsetting cognitive dysfunction. What's the difference between curcumin and standard NSAIDs? So ibuprofen. I think I already just mentioned this. It's the difference of one molecule or one pathway versus multiple pathways. So what about concussions? So there's animal studies, there's pre and post supplementation showing again, pre-supplementation improved cognitive deficits after a concussion and then post supplementation. Again, reduced inflammation, improved behavior, uh, reduced microglia activation. That's a big one in my mind because not many things can do that and that's gonna be down-regulating the chronic inflammatory response. And again, this is one study, this is not specifically concussions, but this was in humans. There's a lot of human evidence on uh, curcumin. Um, the, what I just showed you here is the animal studies. We obviously would love to have some concussion studies, specifically on curcumin. This was after one dose of curcumin, a very specific type of curcumin that was developed at UCLA specifically for Alzheimer's disease, specifically for cognitive decline. And so what they did is they combined curcumin with a fat. 